28 day healthy reboot and all of you high vibe kitchen fans. We are so excited to be here with Rebecca today. Um, this is what you guys have been waiting for. You are looking for a yummy dessert. And for those of you out there who are trying to limit the amount of sugar that you get, this is your dessert. But before we do that, we want to go over that amazing packet of spices that you got in the mail. And for those of you who are in Canada, it's on its way. Remember, the border is always a little sticky, so just keep your eyes out for it. But uh, I'm going to turn this over to Rebecca so that she can talk a little bit about this. This is Hi, Susan. Hi, everybody. Take it away, Rebecca. Okay, can you hear me? I can. Okay, if, if the cars go by, you're just going to have to, you know, ignore me. Or if you can't hear me, just tell me to repeat, you know? I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting bit as we speak, so I'm going to try really hard to not itch my shoulder right now, but it's it's difficult. So, yeah. So anyway, so I'm, I'm totally happy to be participating in this program with you guys again. And I sent out um, our four um, spice blends uh, to use with, you know, whatever you're going to be preparing in your kitchen. So um, we have the Bahama Baker, which we're going to be using today, which is like your all-purpose baking spice blend. Or you could also add it to curries. Um, you can, we add it in a lot of like our Moroccan dishes. You could do, you know, stews with it in the fall, do it on apples, oatmeal, chia puddings, any type of baked goods, that sort of thing. Then we have our curry, our Latin and our Mediterranean blends. And so um, they're really, they're just all purpose blends. So, you know, if you're roasting vegetables, if you're grilling vegetables, um, proteins, anything. You can use them on anything as is. I know that Susan, you're going to be posting some videos that we made using like little recipes, like a mellow yellow curry sauce. And we have a really flavorful chimichurri sauce using the Latin blend. And um, then what else? Oh, and then we have that really nice, simple stir fry sauce using the, the Latin, um, or I'm sorry, the Asian FODMAP blend. And so, um, if you, if you were to go on my website, I have um, a variety of spice blends on there that are similar in flavor to the blends that you guys have, except my blends are not FODMAP approved. So um, for instance, your um, Asian blend is equivalent to our South Sea Surprise blend. And then again, our curry blend is, your curry blend is similar to our curry blend. And then your Mediterranean blend is similar to our Mediterranean mermaid blend. So um, on the website, if you click on any of those particular spice blends, um, you're going to be able to see suggestions like things that you can use each of those blends for. So for instance, the curry, I mean, if you just wanted to uh, put some chopped up um, Swiss chard in a pan with some grated carrots and, you know, pour in some coconut milk and some of your curry powder with a little bit of salt and let it cook together, it's like really delicious, nourishing, quick. Um, the Latin blend, you know, I know like right now we're, we're a little bit more restrictive in the program. So you can't eat, um, you know, like starches or beans and things like that, but really easy beans and rice. You can make a really lovely, like quick avocado on the half shell, just cut your avocado in half, give it a squeeze of lime and some salt, and then sprinkle on that Latin blend. And you got like a little instant guacamole. If you have some of those chive mm -hmm. greens, they were great too, the scallion greens. Um, and then for the Mediterranean blend, we did a really nice, simple, um, how would you call it? Almost like a vinaigrette, but more like a marinade. Like you can put it over anything, like just really flavorful and herbaceous and things like that. So again, there's like no restrictions with the spice blends. Um, they're low in salt. So you will need to use salt with them. And I guess the main thing to do is just like have fun with them. You know, whatever you, whatever you're going to be preparing for the evening, if you feel like it needs to be kicked up a little bit throw some spice on there and that's pretty much it. Yeah, and, and I just want to point out, Rebecca, that on the back of, of my member web, website, for those of you who are watching this and on the 28 Day Healthy Reboot, I have all of Rebecca's videos back there posted so that you can go in and look at with the recipes that she gave us for each one of those spices. And I will post them on the Facebook page. So, uh, so that's exciting too. So we will be out there for those folks that are on the program. Yeah, that's great. I didn't even know that, Susan. So that's cool. That's that's because I was looking for them as well. So that's good. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. And then yeah. and then, you know, I, I will say this, that the, the folks that got this in the last review, so excited 
they felt it really gave their cooking just that little bit of extra fun. We've gone into, for those around the 28 Day Healthy Beer Boot, we started today with that second elimination. And this is when things get a little, a little tough because you know we, we have limited you and, and you kind of freeze. So having these spices, having them there to help you kind of do these things is amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, Yay. Rebecca, tell them yeah. what are we gonna make today? Yeah, well, um, what I was really hoping to make today was our chocolate avocado pudding, which is really delicious. So I, I did send Susan the link for this really creamy, delicious pudding. And so right now I don't have a kitchen because um, it's being remodeled. So here I am outside. Um, so, but on the website, there's a recipe for our chocolate avo avocado pudding using the Bahaman Baker. And it's super simple. You put your um, avocados in a blender. You're going to use some cacao powder. You're going to use a little bit of the Bahaman Baker. Uh, you're going to use a little bit of sea salt. And the recipe on the website calls for maple syrup. So obviously, we can't do that right now. So you can substitute your stevia powder. Um, so like I said, just take it slow. Put a little bit in, you know, in your, if you're going to be blending it up or in your food processor. Maybe start with you know, like, you know, a half a, or a quarter of a teaspoon and then, you know, up it just another eighth of a teaspoon because, you know, Steve is pretty powerful. So you don't want to overpower it. But um, again, and then, so I think on the website, we also use a little bit of um, a dairy-free milk. So coconut milk or almond milk or something like that, which gives it just a little bit of looseness while it's pureeing up. But it's a really simple, simple, delicious recipe. And we put the Bahamian Baker in there because then it adds some nice spice flavor. So it's not only the cacao, but then you got like, you know, your cinnamon and your nutmeg and your ginger and um, the grains of paradise and black pepper. And so there's all sorts of really beautiful warming spices in this, which makes the pudding really satisfying. And you kind of feel like you're cheating, treating yourself um, when, you know, normally in a program like this, it feels more restrictive. So, but today, um, Susan, being that, you know, this is what we're left with is like an avocado on a cutting board. Um, ah! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're gonna take, you know, we're just gonna take our little avocado. So again, like if you're, if you're in a rush or, you know, you're on your way out the door, I had this actually for breakfast today and I thought it was really delicious, um, not being blended, but, you know, I'm kind of used to eating things like, you know, like for instance, like Morning my daughter, time might not think that this is going to be like a delicious way to eat the chocolate avocado pudding because she's a real big fan of the chocolate avocado pudding in its creamy state with fresh raspberries on top but for today for us susan um we're gonna make it like this so just you know take out your pit out of your avocados right you can get down on this here love right Show the avocado pit right over there okay and then so i have here you know here's our cacao nibs um, here is our cacao nibs ground down into like a coarse kind of uh, texture. And then here's our cacao nibs in a, you know, fine cacao powder, right? So you could use anything you want. I used the coarser one today because I wanted it to kind of be like really like, you know, rustic and full of flavor because I find that this one is a little bit more rich. So that's it. So we're just going to take a, we have a fourth of a teaspoon. Um, measuring spoon here. So for one avocado, that's what I did. I did about, um, I did about, you know, like about a quarter of a teaspoon of the cacao powder. Actually, I think maybe a half. I think I did a half. Let's try it here. Half a teaspoon, Susan. Right. All right. Yep. Yeah. And then I did a quarter of the Bahaman Baker. Right, and that's it. And then I did, um, you know, a nice little sprinkling of salt because specifically with avocados, they're so rich that if you don't do a little bit of salt with them, it's just bland. So I do a little salt to elevate everything and bring out all the flavors. And then, you know, again, we have the stevie here, which like I said, it's um, it's powerful, right? But yeah, go so I, with the stevia. I, you can always add more. Yeah, you can always add more. So I go over it like this, give it a little sprinkling everywhere. You know, and then, I mean, look at it. It's, it just looks like a crazy wild mess of goodness here. But I mean, like that's, that's powerful stuff, you know? And then, you know, just to kind of give it that like creaminess, 
you know, I have some coconut cream and I'm just going to fill in my little hole with coconut cream. Nice. Yeah. Right. And that's my, you know, chocolate avocado pudding that wasn't able to be blended. Yeah. I and mean, if you've you know? got a good fork and it's a nice ripe avocado, you can kind of scooch around. They're like little mini bowls, right? Yeah, exactly. You, you know, know, when I do, when I make my guacamole, like, you know, my guacamole cups, like instant guacamole, like I was mentioning, I, I fill the hole with lime juice, you know, with good amount of salt and then the spices and then it, and then every time you cut into that little hole, the liquid oozes into the rest of the avocado. And then every bite is like equally delicious, you know? So yeah. I love it. All right. So let's try it, Susan. Let's see what we ended up with. All right. Did we just, yeah, we did salt, right? Yeah. We yep, did salt. Yep. You did sprinkling of salt. So you're good. Okay. Let's see what we got here. And you know, avocados are so healthy for you folks. They're, 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 they are fat. Well, how is it? Oh my God. Holy crap. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff, huh? Holy smokes. Yeah. That's pretty much amazing. Yeah. And, and avocados, yeah. you know, they're a healthy fat. They give you a good range of omegas. They're going to keep you satiated. They are a fruit. They are something you can have. Now, folks that have, um, you know, if you've got any kind of a gallbladder issue, remember that you always want to watch the amount of fats that you eat in a day. But man, this is power packed. You can have this for breakfast. You can have this for snack. You can have this mm -hmm. at lunch. You can have this at dinner. I mean, this is something that you could just do any time to give yourself that cool little treat uh, if you can't make the avocado pudding. Yeah. And so the other thing is if like, let's say you just want to have it for a snack. You want like a half an avocado for a snack. Leave the pit into the other side of the avocado until you plan on eating the other side of the avocado because it will keep this side of the avocado from browning in the meantime, you know? Oh, neat. All right. Nice. Yeah. I didn't know that. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So All that's right. It. Well, Rebecca, tell them how they can find you. Tell everyone how they can find you. Tell them about, you know, I, I know you have a great spice kit. You know, what's going yeah. on with the spice kit? Where are you with that? And, you know, what do you want to know? Yeah, so um, I have a really tasty 10-piece spice spice and seasoning set. It's primarily organic. It's all packed with all sorts of like globally inspired flavors. It's really delicious. I'm in the process right now of getting my own um, equipment. I'm at a co-packing facility right now, a shared kitchen co-packing facility, and now I'm in the process of getting my own equipment and moving to my own location. And so we're going to be going through this whole new rebranding and you know repackaging it and kind of getting it freshened up for the next round so i have my spices are on sale right now at tastetheworldspice.com which is the website and then um uh, my personal page which is rebecca gillette i do post a lot of my things there and then we have our taste the world spice page on uh facebook and instagram as well so um yeah i mean that's kind of how to kind of stay in the loop and um you know, we, as, as we get going specifically here, now that we're redoing the kitchen, my intention going forward here is to obviously be showing people how to use these spice blends by doing more um, videos and teaching people. Like the next step for me is to teach um, people how to kind of, you know, keep their health on the right track, um, you know, with food um, by using the spices as a medium to make the process a little bit easier, you know? Yeah, and I can tell you from personal experience, I have the spices here. I absolutely love the spice kit. We had several people buy it last time and they are so excited. They're delicious. They give you the ability to really stretch your imagination with food and clean. Now, again, a lot of these blends have onion and garlic in them, which on the 28 days we can't use, but hey, as soon as we're done and we've tested those five map foods and you're ready to go, you have an instant amazing 10 spice blends that you can you do just about anything with. So I highly recommend yeah. All right. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, Thank you that's so awesome. Much. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Sounds great. Bye, everybody. Thank you.